Good morning, everyone. Hey, welcome to the Hybrid Epilepsy Awareness Walk. Oh, it's so great to have you with us, whether you're here in person or here virtually. It doesn't matter, you know what happens? That you're here and you're supporting everything we do. I, Joyce Bender, the chair of the board, also live with epilepsy, so it's very personal to me. And I am here to lead on for children and adults living with epilepsy. I want to talk for a minute about our staff, all of the staff, everyone. Oh my goodness, they have worked relentlessly to make this walk what it is. But you know what? They've also worked on our special programs from respite to the Oscar project to the camp virtually. They have done so much and you know they did this through very difficult times. That is why your, your donation, your sponsorship, everything matters. You are helping us change lives every day. Thank you so much for everything you do. Hey, have a great day. Good morning and welcome to the Harrisburg Epilepsy Awareness Walk. I'm one of your co-chairs, Steve Knight from CBS 21 News. I'm excited to be back with you this year. The funds that are raised at this event truly make a difference in people's lives in our community. And I would like to acknowledge some of the teams for their continued support in raising awareness for epilepsy. I want to graduate. Seizure Slayers, Natalie Strong, Team Lucy, Allison's Team, Sunshine for a Cure, Purple Peeps, Emerson's Army. Thanks to all the participants and donors for your support of children, adults, and families whose lives have been affected by epilepsy and seizure disorders. Hello to all the participants and donors this morning who have joined in supporting the Epilepsy Association. I'm Denny Logan from the Wink Wake Up Show on Wink 104, and this is my first year being a co-chair for this event. I've heard how incredible it is, and I'm honored to be a part of it this year. And I would like to mention some of the amazing teams that are going to be participating and rocking this hybrid event. Bubble Buddies, Danes Warriors, Penn State Health Neurophysiology, the Andersons, Team Cassidy, Thomas Suski Clan, KK's Click, and well-spanned neurosciences. To everyone walking and running today, keep stepping for the fight against epilepsy. Good morning, I'm Randy Whitaker, Vice President and General Manager of the Harrisburg Senators. I'm so happy to once again serve as one of the co-chairs for the Epilepsy Awareness Walk. The Senators and I are proud to take part in an event that supports so many in our community who are living with epilepsy. I'd like to recognize uh, the event participants who are hitting a home run for the Epilepsy Association by raising funds and awareness. The Klebari family, Alicia Hagerman, Ari, Christine Zomach, Gina Brown, Janet Kolka, Elaine Matson, and Alicia Hawthorne. Have an amazing walk. Rascal will be cheering you on as you cross your finish line. Have fun. To our donors, sponsors, volunteers, and epilepsy warriors, thank you. Your donations stay in Western and Central Pennsylvania and make everything we do possible. For more information about our programs, visit our website at eawcp.org or contact us at staff at eawcp.org. Next, we would like to celebrate some inspiring young people living with epilepsy. Each year, we recognize outstanding high school seniors with scholarships that will help them as they continue on to college or vocational program. Here are a few of this year's recipients. Hi, I'm Madeline Smith. I graduated from Holidaysburg Area High School and I plan to attend to study business at St. Vincent College. I'd like to thank the Epilepsy Association of Western and Central Pennsylvania for this scholarship. I would also like to thank them all for the resources and information they provided my family and school when I was diagnosed with epilepsy. I've attended walks in the past, but unfortunately could not make it this year. I hope to join you in the future. My name is Elijah Cincinnati. I graduated from Trinity High School, and I plan to attend Gannon University to study environmental engineering. I would also like to thank the donors of the Julie McCormick Memorial Scholarship. 
Hi, my name is Kylie Jane. I graduated from Athens area high school and I plan to attend Wilkes University to study nursing. I would like to thank the donors of the Mason Langford Scholarship. This scholarship is going to help fund my education so I can become a nurse and help other children suffering from epilepsy or any other diseases just like me. Hello everyone. My name is Mike Pfeiffer, and I'm honored to be here today on behalf of Greenwich Biosciences and our entire team. As a presenting sponsor, Greenwich is proud to partner with the EAWCP and its members for events like the Epilepsy Awareness Walk. We are united in what we're trying to accomplish, to raise epilepsy awareness and to have a positive effect on care, on research, and on the lives of those who are impacted by seizures. There are so many families who wake up every day to the reality of epilepsy. There are people who have been fighting against it their entire lives, and still there are others who are not here today. But as a community, we never give up the hope that one day we will overcome the challenges of living with this disease. This is what drives us. You may know us best as the company known for researching and delivering FDA cannabinoid medicines to help address serious conditions but also know that our focus is on you. Patients and families are at the center of everything we do, and we strive to make a positive impact and meaningful difference in their lives and in yours. Today and every day, we are proud to walk with you to raise awareness, take action, and continue the fight against epilepsy. We hope that you have a great walk today, and I look forward to seeing you and meeting each and every one of you. Thank you. Acharya, one of the epileptologists at Penn State Health. 65 million people around the world have epilepsy and 3.4 million of these are in the United States. Penn State Health shares the mission of the Epilepsy Association to overcome the challenges of living with epilepsy and to accelerate therapies to stop seizures, find cures and save lives. Our comprehensive epilepsy center has the highest level of accreditation and we provide all types of medical and surgical therapies, neurostimulation devices, dietary treatment, and supportive services needed for people with epilepsy. Our goal is to help patients to not only achieve seizure freedom, but also to reach their full potential. And we are fully committed to doing everything we can to get there. At Norellis, we take this responsibility to the epilepsy community very seriously. It's not about just bringing a product to the market, it's about bringing other programs and support materials to help better manage epilepsy. And so we will be working with patients, with their caregivers, with patient advocacy organizations, with nurses, physicians, other healthcare providers, through programs like My Norellis, through other printed materials, to help better manage and be prepared for seizure emergencies and, and, and look for opportunities to help enhance the management of epilepsy because that's just part of the responsibility that we have. Thank you for inviting us to join you today. Epilepsy is more than seizures and it takes more than one person to fight it. At SK Life Science, everything we do is with purpose of supporting the patients, caregivers, and the entire CNS community. We're a global pharmaceutical company and our mission remains the same. As long as there are unmet needs in the epilepsy and CNS community, we will keep working and we'll continue to explore the complex mysteries of the brain because you're worth it. The Epilepsy Association has been fighting on the front lines to advocate and support the 3.4 million people with epilepsy in the United States. And we share the association's sense of urgency and its deep commitment to addressing these needs. Thank you so much for letting us be part of this special day with you. We're thrilled to be here and to partner with the epilepsy community and the Epilepsy Association here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now, let's start walking. Hi. My name is Dr. Todd Barron, and I'm a pediatric neurologist with Wellspan Health. We are proud to partner with the Epilepsy Association of Western and Central Pennsylvania to sponsor the Harrisburg Epilepsy Awareness Walk. Our comprehensive team of doctors and healthcare professionals at Wellspan understands the impact epileptic seizures can have on life 
and we've developed a program that offers the latest in diagnostic services and treatments to help patients function and get back to doing the things that they enjoy. Our team works closely with patients to control seizures through medications, dietary changes, and even surgery to reduce the number of seizures and limit the side effects of treatments. Our comprehensive treatment approach is designed to not only benefit the patient, but also their family. For example, we helped a 12-year-old boy with severe epilepsy since early childhood become seizure-free, and now he can begin to enjoy some of the regular activities that other children participate in. We've helped a 22-year-old woman also with difficult to control epilepsy become seizure-free, and now she is gainfully employed. And finally, we showed that the peculiar episodes that an eight-month-old boy was experiencing were indeed seizures, and now once again he is seizure-free and is developing normally. We congratulate the Epilepsy Association of Western and Central Pennsylvania for the good works that they are doing, and we wish them a successful walk. President and CEO of the Epilepsy Association of Western and Central Pennsylvania. We're so excited to say thank you to all of you who came out and supported the Family Fun Run Walk for Epilepsy. Thank you to all the walkers, all the teams of walkers, our sponsors, all the volunteers, and I especially want to thank everybody who walked at home, who walked in their communities, and those who came and walked with us here today. I'm sorry we didn't get to see everyone in person, but we'll be back in person next year, so we'll see you then. Thanks, everyone.